sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain in one of my finer moments of self-deception I swore to quit drinking there's my sunglasses anyway hey guys welcome back to Alan Wake in the last episode we let's it we met Claudia Weaver we went to the power uh, the sunglasses we went to the, the world power station in the dam now I could keep my we eyes found open the clicker like a the well lit room the and now he, we're here in episode 6 because last video was the end of episode 5 the pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. <laughs> it's just there me was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your table. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. I won't. <laughs> oh no, the game's making me say I will. Okay. But yeah, I just got off. Uh, finish. I just finished another recording session of Dead Space Three with a friend of mine. So I have like two hours worth of footage that needs to process. I've been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. But yeah, I just got off that session and I'm gonna record like an hour of this. I hope I can finish this episode today so that I can turn it into parts and then finish this let's play once and for all. The Harry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nah. Thank you. Thank you everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his Oh, that's actually live action. Nice. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character hard-boiled New York detective Alex Case. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your work in it. Okay, enough. Am I supposed to watch that through? Hey, honey. Or not? Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Oh, she's back. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. But, but, Alice... That ass. <laughs> what? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. And you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? <coughs> yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Me, sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. And thus the scene is set for the game. Uh, and then, like, the, the events of the present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. 
Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Gun clips to his back. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. long cutscene. Can I get back to, you know, alone, talking to myself now? In daylight, there we go. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination <laughs> to make up something like this. Look, an advert for Verizon. This time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself, it didn't really matter. My course was set. So Cauldron Lake we go. I've had friends tell me that this episode is the last episode. Okay, the driving in this game is worse than in GTA 4. Seriously. But yeah, I've had friends tell me that this game is the last. This, well this game. This episode is the uh, the last episode in this, uh, this, uh, this game. So if I can get this done tonight, well... Well, I'll be able to finish this let's play and I'll be able to move on to bigger projects. I have several things in mind for my channel. But for now, I'm just going to concentrate on finishing this and then also doing my Dead Space co-op let's play and my Castle Crashers let's play. Oh look, the road's blocked. Wonderful. Hmm. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Whoa! <laughs> and it's suddenly night time. Hello. I'll kill your wife. Yeah, you can try, Barbara Streisand, but you can't do it. Oh God. Just as I expected. Right, there's light at the end of this tunnel. Literally. Let's go on. Go away, bird. Go away. Man, just having come out of dead space, the controls in this feel all clunky and awkward. <laughs> compared to compared to that. But then be, the, you know, dead space being dead space. So yeah. Dead Space 3 is fun though. I love it. You can check. I'm willing to bet. I'm gonna put an annotation in the top right corner of every other video that I have that are linked to all the new let's plays that I have uh, yeah the ones that are actually currently running not the ones that are finished Ooh, wait hold on wait can I drive this I'm gonna drive this Jeep can I drive this Jeep no I can't damn it <laughs> oh well it was worth a try I guess I don't know who would like abandon a perfectly good uh, hi <laughs> oh, he's not dead. What? I still gotta drive this one. Uh, Roadkill. Hey, it's a diner. Oh. Okay, I've gotta go. No, it's not like a diner, it's a gas station. Yeah, it's a cat. No, it's a diner. Yeah, it's a diner. I see a ramp over there. But I'm gonna explore this place for bullets and other things. So at least when I get to the real, the bits of the real combat, I don't have, I don't get stuck. Mm. 
hypothesis. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number oh, two. Oh, this is a motel. Never mind. Room number two, eh? Majestic motel. I'm not gonna read it. Oh, is that the Who hides a coffee thermos in a toilet? <laughs> so, room. I don't know which room this is. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, it said room number two, right? So, I'm guessing one, two? Question mark? No? Well. <laughs> Oh, this is room two. What? This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. And he keeps flashbacks here for just this, for just such an occasion. Hmm. Look after yourself, and your co-workers. Hello. Get a good me, pal. I've had enough of you. Yeah, that was way too easy. I'm gonna switch to the flares to make it easier. Okay. Now let us proceed.